Hello everybody, this is Rob here from robcoven.com and wpblogtalk.com. Here I'm going to create a new website with WHM, Web Host Manager. One thing we've done prior to this is change the name servers at the domain name registrar. So whether you've got GoDaddy or Namecheap or wherever you've registered the domain name, you need to change the name servers to the hosting account's name servers. And we've done that already. So now we need to create a new account at Web Host Manager. So you go into create a new account there on the left and you need to fill out these. And once you've done that you need to choose a package and for this one I'm going to choose one of the ones that I made. And uh, we want to ignore that because the name servers are set at the domain name registrar and then all we need to do is press create. And that took about two or three minutes and the account is set up. So we're ready to start FTPing some files now. So we go to FileZilla and Site Manager, and what we want to do now is create a new site, and we'll call it the name of the, or similar name to the name of the website. And in here, you need to put the IP address of your host and then switch to normal there and in the username and password you want to put the username and password that you just created for the account you created on WHM. Okay so we're into the site and this is what you see on the on FileZilla and all the files for your website will be in public HTML and there you just see a, a couple of folders and if you actually go to the website, um, you'll see this rather ugly um, display. So you can change this straight away by going to a text editor and creating a new plain text document um, and save it as index.html. And then if you upload that to the server in FileZilla, into public HTML then you will see it when you refresh. So now you know you've set your website up all you've got to do now is to set up WordPress.